Darren, you said afterwards that the team had plenty to work on here in uh, Brighton. Do you think the team has, has come, you know, improved in the areas that you wanted to? Oh, yeah, we've obviously made more runs. That's the start. and batted some time, so that was good. Um, everyone got what we expected out of the game. I would like a few more hundreds, to be fair. Uh, we had a lot of starts, but look, all in all, I thought they batted really well. It's a nice wicket here, had more bounce and we'll probably get at Old Trafford next week, I would think. So, yeah, it was a, a good performance. Would have been nice to bowl them out a bit cheaper than, obviously we didn't bowl them out, but bowl them out for, you know, round 300 on a good wicket. Um, but yeah, good three days for us. Any selection conclusions out of the game, Darren? Yeah, there's always selection for the reasons, isn't there? Um, from my point of view, look, we, we've just got to get and have a look at the wicket, whether we play two spinners or we don't, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, they've drafted in Monty, so I presume it's going to spin, but we need to look at the track. Um, we'll get to Old Trafford tomorrow and have a look and, and see what comes up. What, what have you made of, I mean, you <coughs> can see Lyon in India, but what have you made of his progression, I guess, over the, the tour and the few weeks that you've you know, been involved with him? Yeah, he's an outstanding bloke for a start, which is a pleasing thing. Um, and he's handled himself really well, considering the tough circumstances he found himself in. So that, that's a pleasing pleasing point from my point of view. Um, I thought he bowled really well today. Uh, yesterday he got taken to by young Hamilton Brown, who I thought played really well. Uh, he hit some good balls for boundaries, so I don't mind the spinners getting hit for you know, boundaries off good balls. Um, so I thought they, they improved. I thought Ash bowled OK. Uh, he could have bowled better, but and Nath could have bowled better at stages as well. So, you know, that, that's the case on a good wicket that doesn't turn too much. That sometimes happens to spinners. I mean, are you confident from that that if, if he went up next or this week that he's he's ready to ready and able to have a have an impact? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoever we pick is ready and able to have an impact. And we need to have an impact, don't we? Um, you know, we've done enough talking uh, full stop. We need to make some runs. We, we've got an attack and we can formulate an attack to get 20 wickets. We're confident with that. It's a case of making some runs. Is, um, you know, Ashton is a 19-year-old, you know, he's played four in a row now. Is he, is he handling it all as well as he would have liked? For a 19-year-old, yeah. You know, I think he's been outstanding. He's a good young man. Um, yeah, we, we'd love him to get more wickets, um, but that's, that hasn't been the case yet. It might be next week, so for, for him, he's done really well. I've really enjoyed his company and, you know, he's a good young man. He works hard in his game, as do all the players. Uh, they've been fantastic with that. So should we um, should we stop thinking of Michael Clark as a, as a spinner these days? Is he is his back just reached the stage where he can't bowl again? Uh, no, if if he's fully fit, I expect him to bowl. Um, you know, he, he bowled this morning actually out on the ground, so okay. he's starting to feel better with his back, which is a good sign for us. Because I mean, the, the first two tests had wickets that, that probably would have suited him, but he didn't bowl. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a fair call. Um, Having said that, Smith did all right, and Agar was our premium spinner. Bowls the same as Michael Clark, so um, I would think he would have given Ashton the first opportunity, which is fair enough as well. So, but moving forward, you know, as long as his back doesn't give me any dramas, I expect him to bowl. Can you keep afford to persist with Ashton? I mean, I know he's an exciting young kid, but yeah. he's got no wickets at Lords when England spinner's got 11, and yeah. Smithy Bowen, his part time, has got four. Like, it yeah. just looks like the kid out of his depth and in conditions that should help him? Yeah, um, that's a fair question. We'll just pick the best side. If he's in it, then he's in the best side and we expect him to get wickets. Um, he hasn't gotten any. No, that's a good question again. Um, I think, would we have this discussion if he ended up with three or four knots? Maybe not. Um, but that wasn't meant to be. You know, Things go your way and th some things don't. So I was impressed the way he bowled at knots. I thought he bowled quite well. Uh, he had a problem with his hip in the second test match um, and struggled through that. But he, he knows he didn't bowl well enough, not the standard we're after. So he needs to get it right pretty quickly, we know that. Because the spinners only took one wicket each out here yeah. against, I suppose you'd say, moderate opposition. I mean, you, you would have expected more than that, would you? Oh, you would like more wickets, yeah. I think I said that before, we, I, th I would have hoped to bowl them out under 300. Um, so that was probably the only thing. But having said that, it didn't spin too much. Um, yeah, Monty got a couple of wickets, but didn't get any today. Didn't get one today, did he? No, no. no. So it's not a not a great track for spin. Where Old Trafford, I think, will spin. Mm. But yeah, we need him to perform. Who, who's Does that answer your question? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, who's working with him? I mean, I, don't, I gather you don't have a specialist spin coach in the in the squad. 
No, we obviously call on Warnie a bit. Steve Rickson's our spin coach and fielding coach, so he does that. But working with him how to get blokes out is pretty much our domain. Uh, my mm. domain is head coach. I know how you're going to get all the England players out. That's an easy one. Mm. you just got to execute our plans for it. And I think we've done that pretty well over a period of time. Ashton probably not so much last Test match, as Malcolm said before, but you know, I'm really confident with our plans. Mm. I mean, you said in the past you don't like to tinker with techniques if you want... You, you know, blokes who get to this level of pretty much have, have got what is needed to perform. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, he's a young player who's hardly bold. Is he technically capable at the moment of, of having an impact at this yep. level? Yeah, otherwise we wouldn't pick him. Mm. He'd be mad if we didn't think he was technically up to it. Well, can he get better? Oh, that, or the other, well, I guess well, he's 19. I would hope yeah. he's got plenty of room for improve, improvement. Same as Nathan. You know, they're both young kids. Well, Nathan's played a lot more than... You know, he's not a young kid, but yeah. they've both got improvement. So is he? I mean, is he working with Rickson? I mean, obviously, Rickson's not here, but is he working with him to get to get yep. better on yep. in this tour? And then obviously, we 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 man not to use someone like Shane Warne and talk, you know, spin bowling with him as well. Not so much technical with him; it's more about the mental side and the, the fields you want for certain players. And, and mm -hmm. we use everyone. Yeah, you know, we don't want too many views. Obviously, we want to keep it really channeled for a young kid because he's only 19. But yeah, he, he goes well. You mentioned. Um wanting you know, more hundreds out of the batsmen. Uh, David Warner's 193 in South Africa. Does that make him you know, almost uh, you know, impossible not to, to play? Uh, he's not a certainty, no. He got 193 and played well and did exactly what we want him to do. Um, we want blokes to make hundreds and he's ticked that box, so that's a good thing. Again, we'll have to look at the wicket and see what we come up with in the top six. He, he sort of said that um, if he comes back, he'll bat six. Is that, is that what you're thinking? Is that your thinking? Oh. Could bat anywhere from one to six. Phil Hughes does. Missed some crucial chances, Lords. Yep. Probably dropped what half a dozen out there during the course of the. Uh, so drop, I so reckon it's three, 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 three. They dropped two oh, out here. Yeah, yeah we, we caught poorly. Half a dozen um, chances. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we were poor. So I would hence to say we'll have some fielding training coming up the next couple of days. Mm. We can't afford to do that. We need to get 20 wickets, we only need 20 chances. At the moment, we're having to get 25 chances to get the 20 wickets. So, yeah, that's an area we have to improve. Mm. What, what, sorry. What, I mean, uh, Watson and Rogers obviously didn't come down here. You talked about the need for runs. Can you explain what the, the benefit that they had in staying in London and netting, I suppose, and doing that? Oh, they're doing some work, technical work, both of them, and, and that's fine. Um, yeah, we, we've had a pretty hectic schedule in the two tour games and two test matches. Uh, from my point of view, they've been fine. Their starts have been, you know, okay. To be fair, what we need is both of them to go out and get big hundreds um, in a Test match arena. So uh, they play two of games and got runs. So that's not an issue for me. Um, I really wanted the younger guys to have a go in this this game. To be perfectly honest, to, to give them a chance to play. Having been in the scenario where I was, you know, on tour and never played a game. You know, on the great side, the, the Australian side, I'd be on tour and play one tour game. It was the thing you look forward to more than anything, to get through the whole tour. So I, I think it was really important that we didn't play our, our, our guys that are playing and, and let the younger guys play, to be perfectly honest. Um, they, they worked with oh, Steve Ricks and Diva were there, so they were doing, and Peter Siddle, so they were working there. That was no issues, and get them right to go for Manchester. How much easier would it be just to have the whole squad together, though, rather than split? Well, I'd say it'd be harder. Have you seen the rooms up there? <laughs> no. well, it's pretty small for 18 people, um, so it's a lot easier this way. And that was the reason, but the, because the size of the rooms that well, they got small. No, <laughs> no it's uh, sheer logistics. <laughs> it actually makes sense to actually do what we've done, and it's no problems. They're not going to play, so they might as well train at, at Lords and get that right and do what they need to do there. And then we, they're at Manchester now. They train today in Manchester, so. With their bodies, uh, we, we sent the other guys up to Manchester today, so they've gone there early. How much of it was about just sort of mentally allowing them to sort of freshen up, get yeah. away yeah. after two yeah. of testing games? Uh, oh, I reckon that's important as well, to be perfectly honest, from my point of view, having seen the other side as well. You know, get away and, you know, they've had four games in four weeks and you know, just freshen up quickly and let's get back into it. We obviously got to regroup really quickly as a, as a team and, and play better in this test match. We know that. Bird and Stark seem the obvious replacements for patents and if you go that way, yeah. how do you assess their performances here? Uh, yeah, both pretty good, pretty solid I, th I thought. Um, 
had some pace and bounce and they swung it around. Uh, I would, again, would like to get more wickets like the spinners, as Malcolm said before. Um, but, you know, they, they did the job. Given, given all the half centuries you've had, um, does a, a 66 and an 84 from Ed and, and Phil work to their advantage or work against them almost? Oh, a bit of both, I'd say. I would like them both to make big hundreds, to be perfectly honest. Um, when you, you get in that scenario, you should be making big hundreds. They know that, we spoke about it. So, But they, they played well and got through some tough times. Do you, I suppose it's when you get bowled out, um, when you bat the way um, that you did at Lords, there's sort of two sides to looking at it, um, making a change or you know showing confidence in the guys to, to yep. come out of it. Is that going to be a difficult thing to to weigh up? Um, you know, what's what's the best solution to, to that? Oh, it's always difficult selecting the sides. Um, what you've got to do is actually pick the side you think can win the test match. And that's what we have to do. Uh, and that's the way we'll go. The Ashes are alive and we need to make them alive again for another test match. And that's what we have to do.